by what he did. Demons, goblins, and devils, spirits of the misty valleys, farts from the asses of doom, shrieks of cats and heat, and a whole long list of other curses to be banished follows. Then, when this drink goes down our gullets, we will be free of evil in our souls and of spells cast by the evil spirits and witches. In Galicia, the Gallegos still claim to believe in magus, witches, evil spirits and the like. To protect guests, they have something called la quemada, a custom believed to have originated with the ancient Celtic race to whom Galicia was their sacred home. Here at Paco de Valo's bodega in Miano, a member of the region's association of artisan winemakers hauls out a giant calabasa squash, or a pumpkin if they have one, then he fills it with a guardiente, or as the Gallegos call it, a ruscio, literally burning water or fire, Elysian grappa or moonshine. He ritualistically sets the booze alight, then tosses in coffee beans and orange peel, then the juice of oranges and lemons, dumps in a whole mess of sugar, then a few cups of coffee more and aguardiente. The concoction is brewed for as much as half an hour. It flames a magical incandescent blue, cooking the coffee beans, coffee, orange peel, lemon, sugar, even steams the squash. When he thinks the quemada is ready, our Gallego friend Emilio Cores scoops out a cup of the flaming punch along with pieces of the squash. The result is a thick liquor that is less alcoholic than the original brandy, but can still be a headbanger. We made a lot of that quemada vanish, and in the process, banished a few evil spirits of our own, at least until the next morning. Splendid. <laughs>